Welcome back to Little Cup World Cup, one of the biggest Little Cup tournaments on Smogon, where countries around the world created teams to show themselves as the very best. In week 3 of the tournament, there are some incredible luck, salty moments, and insane comebacks that happened. Up first, in DPP Little Cup, we have DJ Berluminati versus Finchinator. Immediately, Finchinator gets some good luck as, after a Blizzard doing 85% to a coughing, is able to dodge a fire blast. The luck does not stop there, as after Lickitung has to switch in onto a blizzard and eat its Orenberry, on turn 3, Finchinator gets a freeze, which results in the Lickitung having to be sacked this turn. But it doesn't end there, after Kogun comes in to revenge kill with Sludge Bomb and gets a poison, Finchinator gets a crit, which results in the Krogunk dying. The math of all of these events happening, there is only a .178 chance of all three of those things happening. From there, the game is pretty much over as DJ Brilluminati does not have enough Pokemon left and after the very fortunate luck, Finchinator is able to win the game very easily. Next, in Scarlet and Violet Little Cup, we have Nulti Prize versus Ikachi, with both players bringing a very similar Porygon balance type of team. Both players are aiming to use their Porygon or their Volibee to break for one another by getting through the defensive checks. Ikashi is the first one to make progress on this as Gothita is able to trap the Mianfu. Ikashi is able to further make progress into Nulti Prize's team as Ponyard is severely chipped by covering the Vullaby and will not be stopping a potential Porygon sweep with either Agility or Choice Garth. And it doesn't take very long. After Growlithe Hisui is sacked, Porygon is able to gain its entry point and reveal itself as Choice Scarf. With Terra still on the board, Nulti opts to go into his own Choice Scarf Vullaby in order to knock off the Porygon. With Porygon able to live a hit, assuming a Violite, Ikashi reveals Hyper Beam, the one move that could have killed the opposing Porygon. After Gothita traps the Fungus and tricks it a, a Choice Scarf, Nulti Prize forfeits the game, giving the Ikashi the win, showcasing the power of Porygon. Next, we have Fran17, versus Daunt versus. Both players are bringing offensive cores to try and whittle away at the opponent's teams and make holes for their setup sweepers to win. After an Elekid gets trapped by a trap inch, Timber comes out and successfully gets up a bulk up while taking no damage. This problem is further exemplified when it terrestrializes into a poison type on Fran's paper and kills the Volibee. After having to sack Stunky in order to knock off the Timber. Fran is forced to terrestrialize his Ponyard into a Fairy type and gets a Sword Stance up, revenge killing the Timber. After losing his Timber, he opts to switch into his Volibee, going for the Speed Tide versus Ponyard instead of Mudbraid, who will take a hit but risk getting flinched. And he wins the Speed Tide, resulting in the Ponyard dying. After Mianfu is sacked to the Volibee, Snivy comes in as a last ditch effort to try and Leaf Storm sweep the opponent, but it is not enough, resulting in Daunt versus getting the win. Unfortunately, due to Fan losing the speed tie with Ponyard versus Volibee, it does lead to a little bit of salt as losing the speed tie got rid of one of the main options. However, unless the Mudbray would get flinched by an Iron Head, this game would still have not been winnable for Fran. In another game of Scarlet Violet Little Cup, we have Golden Ghost or KSG going against Sylveon used Calm Mind. Sylveon used Calm Mind is bringing the highly uncommon, unburdened spam team, with both Trico and Drifloon threatening high base power acrobatics after consuming their grassy seed in grassy terrain. While Sylveon's plan of action is to break down as many of the grass and flying resist as possible, KSG will need to try and weather the storm of Trico and Drifloon. At first, Sylveon tries to set up with Drifloon, but after Ghost sets up a Swords Dance and gets a critical hit, Sylveon is forced to give up on Drifloon being the Pokemon that wins the game. However, Sylveon is able to correctly snipe a Terror Blast Ground Vullaby into a Glamet switching in, resulting in a one-hit knockout. As Ghost tries to go into Porygon, one of the few Pokemon that can take the Volibee hit, is flinched, resulting in Ghost losing his turn. 
as he tried to set up an agility. Ghost is unable to get off a successful agility Porygon sweep as it dies to a grassy glide. Nearing the endgame, Ghost goes to Terra, the Mianfu, trying to live the Volibee hit, but is flinched. Due to both flinches costing KSG the game, he opts to leave his opponent waiting for 5 minutes in order to get the victory. In another game of Scarlet Violet Little Cup, we have Drifting versus Elfuzon, with Elfuzon with a very unusual pick in Weasel, along with Pokemon not seeing as much usage as usual, like Toad School or Glamet. At first, things are not looking well for Elfuzon, as Drifting is as Trapinch is able to successfully trap both a Glamet and a Toad School. After a Thunder Wave into Fungus, Gothita is unsuccessfully able to trap the Fungus, leaving it paralyzed at low HP. With only three Pokemon left, Elfu decides to terrestrialize his Magby into a Steel type as the Fungus gets paralyzed. He then clicks Substitute, hoping to get the paralysis into the Fungus, and he does. With this, Fungus it has to be sacked, and Drifting goes into the Snubble and terrestrializes into a Fire type. Snubble is able to break the Substitute and has to go down the following turn. However, with Mianfu being the only way to revenge kill the Magby, it clicks Fake Out. But due to it terrestrializing into a Steel type, both the Volibee and the Growlithe Hisui have to get sacked in the following turns. After Magby gets 4 kills, it is finally taken down. But due to the progress it made, Elfuzon's Snubble is able to successfully 1v1 the Bienfu, resulting in him getting an awesome comeback victory. Last but not least, we have Nashrock vs West Sayori. With West Sayori bringing very questionable Pokemon, with not only a Meowth and a Solosis, but an Intimidate Growlithe instead of running Rockhead, which is the most common. It's not after long though that Solosis shows the value he was able to put in as after terrestrializing into a fairy type, is able to knock out the Vullaby after rocks go up. It is then gets further val value as it knocks out the Growlithe Hisui with the Future Sight it set up two turns earlier. After defensive pit positioning, both players get their poison types in and Fungus decides to spore into the Marini. At this point, Timber comes in as it no longer is threatened by Spore, and it terrestrializes into a Steel type and clicks Bulk Up. As it keeps clicking Bulk Up, West Sayori stays in and gets paralyzed, not once, not twice, but three times, resulting in Timber being at full HP, three Bulk Ups. As Growlithe Hisui comes in on the Timber, giving it an Intimidate, it reveals itself to be special with Fire Blast, knocking out the Timber in one hit. A few turns later, Solosis is able to pick up its third kill of the game with a Psychic into Marini, and with only a Ghastly left, it is unable to lock into a move that can win the game, and West Sayori's Intimidate Growlithe Hisui is able to grant him the victory. That's it for now. The standings after week 3 of the tournament should be on the screen now. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and if you are new to the channel, check out the playlist in the top right corner to see more in-depth explanations of my team, US Central Plus West, as we go through the tournament and try and crown ourselves as the winners.